This is exciting, isn't it? What's that? Oh. Yes, if you weren't already familiar, this year on the Emirates FA Cups YouTube channel, from the first qualifying round all the way through to today's final, we've covered every single round. You can check out that video on their channel. We've interviewed fans, we've interviewed players, we even interviewed Ben Gibbs. It's lovely. You're laughing, yeah? Yes, it's FA Cup finals weekend. And I say finals because today we're doing the men's final between Chelsea and Liverpool and tomorrow and also for the women's final between Manchester City and Chelsea. And we also have an incredible giveaway for one of you guys. Thanks to the guys over at the FA, you're able to win a match ball from this weekend's FA Cup finals. All you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel and you can win a match ball from this weekend. Anyway, let's have a look around Wembley Way. Just soak in the atmosphere. I'm buzzing. So, when you guys read the title for this video, you probably thought I was clickbaiting when I said, pick side at Wembley. No. No, we're not. So literally, this is Wembley Stadium. It's like two and a half hours to kick off for the, uh, the men's FA Cup final. And this is where I am. That's where the Liverpool dugout is. That's where the Chelsea dugout is. And here is me, and there is the pitch. We started at Lowest Off Town, and now we're here. Unreal. Also pitch side with me right now is the original FA Cup trophy from 1878. Unbelievable. Like, Genuinely unbelievable. I, th I think I've been told I can touch it, so I'm just gonna. I've just touched the original FA Cup from 1878 to 1910. I almost feel like I shouldn't be touching it, but I also can't stop. I'm just gonna record myself lifting the See lid off. That off oh, that is so heavy. Oh, it's so so shiny inside. Is that real gold? And also, pitch side, I've just looked at the oldest FA Cup trophy, and now we've got a winner's medal for this year's competition. This is actually a medal that the winning team are going to receive one of these for each player. That is incredible. And obviously I'm very scared I might drop it. And just here is Liverpool's change room. As you'll see, you'll never walk alone. You've got the Liverpool badge there. And because the players aren't here yet, and there's quite a few hours to kick off, I'm allowed to actually just go in and have a quick look. Um, we are now in the Liverpool change room on FA Cup final day. See, we are Liverpool. God, this is, this is bigger than some hotels I've stayed in. Yeah, so we are in the Liverpool changing room, as you'll be able to see here. There's where Alisson's gonna be sat, and then you're gonna feel around to all the players. All the shirts and kits are there. They've got their, their sliders laid out with their shin pads as well. This is incredible. It's very quiet. I have a feeling in about an hour or two, it's gonna be slightly louder. <laughs> Not sure if some fans have came on like a stadium tour, but someone's wrote, love you Mo, hi from Rhea, age nine, come on LFC. <laughs> and actually in a separate room to where the team get changed, I'm now in where the coaches change room is. Because you can see here, there are some shorts, the initials JK on there for Jurgen Klopp and the rest of his staff members around here too. Look at the size of that TV as well. Oh my, Look, you've even got Shoes initial to individuals. I'm not gonna touch them, Jürgen, I promise. Don't know why I'm talking to you now. In future, Jürgen, I didn't touch them. Speaking of the old FA Cup, in front of me now is the current FA Cup. As we can see, just there, there is the FA Cup trophy that is going to be lifted later by either team. This is the current one. You can see on your screen as well right there, up close as last year's winner, 2021, Leicester City. So much history in this one cup. Players are arriving any second now, about to come through the tunnel door in front of me. There is a, a legend in town, it's Gianfranco Zola, just there. Another legend, an FA Cup legend, this John Barnes, he's just there. So I'm joined by a very special guest, this year's Mitre Golden Ball winner, Adam Boys of Mask United. How are you doing? Not too bad, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I actually came to watch Mask in the second qualifying round. 
Oh, I've seen you on your uh, Twitter page and stuff. You went there, yeah. Had the best pie I've ever had at football. Oh, not bad pies, yeah. They're being nice. <laughs> How mental is it for you to? especially in the 150th year, be the top scorer in the FA Cup. Yeah, it's such a great honour for me and massive achievement. Obviously, I've scored a lot of goals in the FA Cup over the years, but to do it in the 150th year and to come down here and celebrate like this is unbelievable. There is a chance if Lukaku scores nine, he takes that from you. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing if that happens? Um, if he's on eight, I'll be going to tell the manager to take him off. So. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Well, congrats on that. That is an incredible achievement. And one to store on the mantelpiece the rest of your life. Yeah, it's a lovely trophy and obviously no one else has got one of these so it's a massive achievement. Pete Tong is just there and I'm, I honestly look how close to Pete Tong I am. I can just walk this much closer to Pete Tong and he's there. I bet he loves shirt shopping. I think it's his favourite series. I think his favourite episode was with Smith. Also just want to take a minute to say I'm aware this isn't normal. I'm aware I'm incredibly lucky to have this opportunity. Like, as I said before, if you'd have told me when I first started making YouTube videos, when I had nothing and had to walk from like a train station 45 minutes away to even at like 11 at night to even make a video, like, it's unbelievable. And thank you for supporting the content for so long because that's why I'm able to do this. Unbelievable. I know it sounds preachy and I know it sounds YouTube-y, but that's what I mean. Thank you very much. I was in the wrong, but Salah just hugged me to move me out of the way, so technically, we're best friends. There they are, ready for action. The old FA Cup, the new FA Cup, the military band. It's everywhere. Well placed, good job. Prince William shaking all the players' hands and Ray is about to do the national anthem. Unbelievable spectacle this. My Chelsea guest today is Louis, massive Chelsea fan. How massive does it feel to be in an FA Cup final? It's like, I was so nervous and I was there going, I've got to say, it's amazing to be here again. Three FA Cup finals are about to go. I don't want to lose three. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can I have a score prediction? Oh, oh Christ. <laughs> Oh, it's got 1-0, hopefully no extra time. I, I think it's going to be tight, but we'll have to see. What a save for Mendy! Oh, what a clear the still on dead though, it's Keita! This is not helping your nerves. I mean, I'm already a big lad, I'm fucking heart attack, seven at this point. Trev, stand him up, Trev. Hello again, Ben. 15 minutes to go. 
what a whirlwind. So Ben, I'm currently with you. Whichever end penalties go to, I will go. Both Ben and Louis today will have been with me. Emotional wrecks. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I need to get through to the Chelsea. Come on, Sorry. I'll come up, I'll, I'll go over, thanks. It's on the Chelsea end, the penalty's about to be taken, I've had to run. I had to do yeah. Excuse me, guys, sorry. Um, I'm not watching, I can't do it. I can't do it. Everybody now, everybody now. I spill a quiet to take my Chelsea. Go on, Dave. Hello, new day, new dawn, day two. Once again, back pitch side at Wembley. Unbelievable. And look what is also pitch side with me. The Vitality Women's FA Cup trophy is just here, right in front of me. And you can see it overlaid on your screen as well in some more detail. In a couple of hours, one captain is gonna lift that. And I can't wait. It is gonna be an unbelievable day. Teams are now arriving at Wembley. There is just over an hour and a half till kickoff. Man City players are there, taking in the day and the atmosphere. Chelsea players are now arriving at Wembley as well. It's beginning to rain, which is not, not fun. Found the most popular influencers pitch side. Chelsea's mascots, they're having a great time. Joining me today is my guest, is my girlfriend Jodie, she's coming down. Hello, how excited are you for today? Hello, how excited are you for today? Here come the Chelsea players for the warm up. And here come the Man City players. The 
here come the match balls, resisting the temptation to go and... I'd say whack one, but my ability to whack one is non-existent. I would attempt to kick the ball, basically. My guest today, Jody. The atmosphere is building here. Loads of fans flocking in. How are you finding it? A lot busier than I thought it was going to be. An unbelievable entrance for the players there, and now Ray is about to sing the national anthem. Kickoff is very, very close. Right. Oh, it could be. Oh, it's in! Oh. One nil to Chelsea. I don't think she can claim that was a shot. But an unbelievable goal. Chelsea won. Manchester City nil in the stroke of half time. One half of Wembley has erupted. a challenge that is. It's still alive for City though. Um, well done. Oh my god, what a goal. What a goal that is. That is fantastic. Didn't you see Kirby and whipped it in. Thoughts on that? That was cheeky, I love it. What a goal. I said on the pre-match live stream for this, Lauren Hemp is one to watch. Can I also just... say my score prediction is still on track. Start my thunder. So we've now moved to the Chelsea end for the second half. What are your thoughts on the first half? Really good. Yeah, yeah. it's very loud. I guess it'll be loud enough for the closest to the Chelsea end than the Man City end. Yeah, the Chelsea fans have been very, very loud. So looking forward to this half. Oh, what a strike! Oh! But that is unbelievable. I think that's one of the best goals you've ever seen live. 49,000 fans inside Wembley today. The record. Unbelievable support. And hopefully next year, even more. So, deja vu here on FA Cup final weekend. Extra time. This is who Chelsea need on the ball. Sam Kerr. It's 2 on 1 for Chelsea. It's a massive moment. Sam Kerr. It's 3 2 for Chelsea. A huge moment in extra time. Sam Kerr, when it matters most, steps up as he always does. Are your winners of the 2022 Vitality Women's FA Cup. And their fans have been fantastic. The roar from that end, as soon as the final whistle went, was amazing. Commiserations to Manchester City and their fans. Their support throughout the game was also incredible. But it's Chelsea who, once again, are this year's FA Cup winners. It's now time for the Vitality Women's FA Cup. Miss Rachel to Manchester City, this year's one is up. The winners of the 2022 Vitality Women's FA Cup! Joined by player of the match, Erin Cuthbert. How mental has today been for you? It's crazy, what a game. Two teams going neck and neck the whole way. And, you know, we thought we won it and then 
Um, sorry, my songs just came on. Yeah, 500, no, you can go, you 500 go. 500 miles has just came on. Yeah, you go, you go. It's fine. Try. Yeah, an unbelievable day. What a game, and it's been a fantastic experience. I've loved every bit of this. The atmosphere was fantastic from both sets of fans. It was amazing. Fans are still here trying to talk to players as well because these players are incredible. They've got to talk to any fan. I haven't seen one say no. It's amazing to see. It's amazing to see the fans so behind their team as well. Yes, guys, that concludes my weekend for the Emirates FA Cup final and the Vitality Women's FA Cup finals here in 2022. It's been incredible. The behind the scenes access has been amazing. And remember, one of you can win one of the match balls courtesy of the FA Cup. All you have to do with a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel. I've been Ellis. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more football shirt content and more away days. Ciao, ciao. Bye.